Welcome. This session will focus on how to modify my initramfs based design by adding my custom value add application and by modifying one of the default startup scripts that is already in the Rootfast system. Using desktop factory tool, I can very easily add my custom packages, packages that Tamsys perhaps does not have in a repository, but I can also add my own files. To do that, I would create a local directory that in the next step I'm going to tar up the directory that will include all the value add applications and modified files the way I want to see them on the target root file system. For that purpose I've created an additional RFS content directory and under that directory I've created several subfolders. So under etsy init.d I have a file called s 15 winhd pdrv and this is a standard script that is currently present in my default root file system as it comes as part of uh, one of the Wintegra packages that I already included in my design, but I want to modify it so I can use an editor such as vi and modify the file to my likings and save the file. Then under root subdirectory, I'm going to place my value add application. Of course, I can do that for multiple applications. I can add libraries. I can override any of the default settings in my current root file system. Having already a local version of my, what we call an overlay, the next step, I have to tar everything up. So let's issue a command tar czvf, and we're going to uh, store it one level above. And we are going to add all of the files from the current additional RFS content directory. So as you can see, all the subdirectories and files have been added into my tar file. So if I go one level up, right now I have an overlay to tar.gz present. In the next step, I'm going to access my desktop factory tool. I'm going to issue make menu config option. And under target configuration, I will navigate to build RFS option. Again, for those of you who are new to desktop factory tools, build RFS option provides you with a number of options that not only control the footprint of a overall root file system design, but also allow you to choose the type of the root file system that you want to build. In our case, this is an initram FS based root file system. One of the top options called RFS contents allows me to specify a location on my hard drive again somewhere or perhaps in subversion where I have that overlay stored. So this is a fully qualified path to either a file, FTP, HTTP or a SVN server. In our case, the file lives under home Mache factory integra overlay 2.tar.gc. That's all I have to do. Now I can exit my current design, make sure that I save my current work order and then run make. Desktop factory will build all the pieces, including the cross toolchain, the Linux kernel, the root file system, the basic root file system as specified in the work order. On top of that, it will copy and uncompress the overlay file system. Then we'll configure everything for the type of root file system that I've selected. So in a drama fast, and we'll combine the root file system with the Linux kernel, producing one image that I can then deploy on my target. That's all it takes to add my own value add application into my design and to alter files that are already present in the root file system.